In the words of former President Lula da Silva, it is possible that God is not Brazilian, but he has at least spent quite some time in Brazil. That about sums up how close to heart religious conviction is for Brazilians. In no other country are there more Catholics, but Christian ways are changing so much that it's no coincidence that Pope Francis chose to come here for the first visit abroad of his pontificate. The Archbishop of Sao Paulo says he will energize the new evangelization of the church. That term means looking for new ways to share the faith, notably through the work of missionaries. When you compare today with Pope John Paul in the 1980s, he was a hit. Catholicism was booming in Brazil and when he visited, millions turned out to express their Christian devotion. Then the population was 121 million and 90% Catholic, just 7% belonged to other evangelical faiths. Thirty years later, three times that are non-Catholic in an even bigger population. People saw all the abuses by priests of the Catholic Church, paedophile horrors, cover-ups and corruption, and that turned them away. The Catholic Church also doesn't have enough priests. Young potentials don't go into it because it means being celibate and because the training's long. <laughs> Meanwhile, other churches have moved well ahead turning out new priests. Many faithful feel Catholicism today isn't relevant to their daily lives. They find other churches do relate to them. Yo, I used to go to Catholic Mass on Sunday, this convert says, but I still felt empty. Then one beautiful day I was invited to the Assembly of God Church and then I accepted Jesus. That's when I came to know Jesus. It totally wiped away the emptiness I felt, that sadness. Pope Francis has taken strides to prove that the Catholic Church cares about people's suffering. He plans to go into two areas of Rio where other churches are doing very well. A young man who lives in the Virginia neighborhood and serves as an altar boy says what's wrong and what he feels Francis will bring. Unity. People don't talk to each other here. What's going to change is that people will be more united. One senior Brazilian cleric has said the Catholic Church is the strongest church in Brazil, but we have to update the message for the people of the present.